I'd like to update everybody on the Tiger Shovel Nose pack of 10. Overall, they've doing, they have been doing relatively well. The biggest are about a foot right now. In about half a year with us, or less. But overall, the quality is pretty poor, I would say. This one is badly deformed, as you can see. It's got a huge dent on the right-hand side in his head and his uh, right gill is badly deformed I and mean, the gill plate is sticking out way, way far another deformed one is that one with the duck bill or camel face right here and with the remnant of a one of the pectoral fins a clearly genetic, genetically deformed fish the first one might have been an accident or a physical injury but this is not this is genetics there's uh, four of them that are much smaller than the rest this one there's a uh, hiding behind the colander over there. There's two more there. You can only see their you can only see their heads over there. One, two, three, yep. Uh, there's three smaller ones over there, which I suppose are runs. But this could be because they're all together, so um, if you kept them alone, they might have grown better. I'm not sure. This is the smallest of them all. He's only about six inches. Definitely the slow is growing, even though he's he's not deformed or anything. So four small ones, two deformed. That's six, which remain, which means that only four remain which are more or less okay good growers and uh, no deformities there's three right there so once again one this one is good run behind deformed Deformed, good number two, good number three, good number four, okay, more or less. So I'd say, I'd say at least temp, um, tentatively, only 40% of four out of ten have, might, might have an okay genetics, and six others are suffering from uh, some kind of deformation or dwarfism. For uh, fish that cannot be properly housed by most aquarists who buy it, it may not be such a bad thing on the paper, but overall, if you wanted to get a proper tiger shovel nose, The chances are stacked against you. Only four chances out of ten that you would get a, maybe get a proper fish. As I had said many times before, I believe most of these are calls. If they come from South America, they're definitely are calls from the food farms. If they come from uh, Southeast Asia, they're as cheaply and rather carelessly raised as possible. So neither one of them, neither one group would, would have uh, good genetics. This 10 came from a 
from a wholesaler here in Florida. I'm not, I'm not gonna name them because this may look bad for them. But that company supplies most of uh, local fish shops around the nation in the United States of America. So everywhere, all of you guys who go to the local fish shops and want to buy a tiger shovel nose, you're taking a 50-50 chance of getting a, a fish with perhaps at least medium genetics. I don't think we stand a chance to get some a fish with good genetics. So 40% medium genetics, 60% bad genetics. And that can vary from growing small and growing slow to being badly deformed. They all look nice. They all looked looked nice and the same when they were when we bought them at about three inches. All ten of them were the same size and couldn't tell any 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 anything about them that some of them were better and some were worse. But right now, half a year later, and uh, the biggest being at a, at a foot, it's pretty obvious. Over the last 20 years, we rescued perhaps uh, about a hundred of tiger shovel nose, I want to say. A lot of them have been deformed, for sure. A lot of them have this uh, duck bill or camel face deformity. Like the guy, like the guy, the guy in the back, the fish in the back, to various degree of severity. What he's got going right now is mild, but who knows, it, it might get much worse as it grows because as I said in the at the three four inch size his snout looked fine but this is not a physical injury at all and the evidence of this is the underdeveloped fin on the right hand side facing towards us on the other side on the left hand side the fin the pectoral fin is fine on this side it's there's just some little remnant almost like a vestigial <laughs> appendage. And the dented one also looks looks pretty bad. That's the guy over there facing away from us right there. Got a huge dent on the right hand side in his in his head and in the gill plate makes his body look asymmetric. I'm not really sure if his if the main axis of his body, of the head, head and the body is aligned and perfectly straight as it should be. It almost, I'm afraid he's gonna get worse and worse over time and all of it will be a bit of a crescent shaped, not only the, the head right now, but we'll see. I hope to be wrong. Two runs, obviously, as you can tell. The two in between the two runs are medium sized. The one behind is medium sized. So that one is the biggest on the right. Another one. Oh yeah. yeah, the one laying across from us towards the corner. That's the biggest, and the other one that I showed you. Those two are the, I would say, have the best genetics in the group, relative to everybody else. But we'll continue growing them and see what happens. So out of the four, quote unquote, good ones, two are bigger and two are clearly lagging behind in the growth. But still, the, all, of, all, all of the four of them are far bigger than the smallest dwarfs and, and they're not deformed. 
as their two brethren here.